This mother of six children uses as little water as possible to do her chores. The only way she gets water is by fetching from a well. She is constantly worried that what she brings home is not safe for drinking, but she is left with no choice. We want government to give us water. We don't have water, so we are suffering for it. So that's where we are begging you people to come and give us. Karmo, on the edge of the nation's capital, is among thousands of communities in the nation's capital that have never had water pipe connected to their homes. Here, they get water from illegal groundwater installed by those who can afford it and sold to thousands of residents. We always buy water, 15 naira per gallon. And check with many of us, many people that don't have job to do. If you see no toilet, no look at the environment, no road. Well, just next to this filthy area filled with trash and sewage waste is this water tap where hundreds of residents living around here queue up every day to fetch water. Without this, they won't have access to relatively clean drinking water. But now the Minister of Water Resources, Mrs. Sarah Ochepe, is more resilient than ever to bring an end to the water crisis. She recently announced that incessant drilling of boreholes for water can no longer be the practice. While we have a need for water, we also have to be mindful of the impact of our actions. If we continue to drill boreholes anyhow, there will be a time when we would exhaust the water, the groundwater, and then the Surface, begin to if they want to do it in that form, it will be necessary to invite the borehole owners to give them more educate on how they are going to operate that borehole. When they register that borehole on that government, they, the government will take them how they will be treating the water. The nation's capital has struggled to maintain clean drinking water for the masses. In Nigeria, about 69 million people still do not have safe and sustainable access to clean water, while 103 million lack access to adequate sanitation facilities. As the growing demand for water intensifies, it is estimated that about 100,000 children die annually from diseases caused by unsafe water. Salamatu Garwa, an executive director with Women Farmers Advancement Network in Nigeria, frowns at the challenge. As soon as boreholes are drilled, because they are, some of them are not supervised closely, they just put it there, the water becomes colored. Two months after, water stops coming. Is it a favor that we're doing to the people by giving them water? That is the question. While the government struggles to implement programs to combat the challenge and employing the cooperation of state and local governments, the daily struggle for clean water in the nation's capital continues. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.